Thailand's Institute of Justice, or TIJ, was established in 2011 for the treatment of women prisoners and non-custodial measures for women offenders, under the guidance of Her Royal Highness Princess Pacharakidiapa. The TIJ's mandate is to serve as a bridge that takes global ideas and puts them into local practice, especially through the promotion of United Nations standards and norms related to the rights of those in contact with the criminal justice system. The TIJ has been recognized as a member of the PNIs and ready to embrace the new mandate to work more closely with the UNODC and other PNIs. Well, TIJ and, and I have had a long relationship, and now that you've joined the PNIs, it brings a perspective, a, a more global or a more regional perspective. Southeast Asia needs a hub. They need people on the ground that can um, work on projects from a, from a Southeast Asia perspective. It's always good to have somebody on the ground right there that understands the culture and the nuances of crime and, and justice. As part of the PNIs, the TIJ has gained international status, unlike a national body, and along with this status, the trust that PNIs can work with different countries on issues they consider sensitive. Furthermore, as the first PNI in ASEAN, the TIJ is in a position to support the region in strengthening its mutual efforts in crime prevention and criminal justice development. It will work to reflect the regional perspective on the global agenda and simultaneously draw knowledge and resources from connections with experts around the world to benefit Thailand and this region, especially in its areas of interest and expertise, including the rule of law, the treatment of offenders and the rights of women and children in the criminal justice system. TIJ actually has been the attempt of the Thai government to try to strengthen and institutionalize the relation that we have with the United Nations, especially the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime. But being a PNI, this means that we also have a friends, a counterpart all over the world, um, 18 including us, that are committed to work with the United Nations for the member countries, uh, it means the worldwide member countries. So I think we have the legitimate mandate uh, not only to be more proactive, but, but to be more able to implement the standard and norm. We hope to be able to complement or to try to help in our own way to make sure that the integration of the ASEAN community will be a real benefit to, to all the 10 countries in ASEAN and would contribute to the world too. Thailand's Institute of Justice is now ready to join key global players in tackling the issue of crime and its consequences for the sake of a better tomorrow.